All right, guys, welcome back. Survival Living here. Yes, two videos in two days or two nights, whatever. Uh, actually, guys, today's my birthday, and while I was at work, I was sitting there thinking about everything <laughs> while I was turning wrenches. I know, supposed to be focusing on the job, right? Uh, I was just thinking, you know, we started this channel come April five years ago, and I wanted to teach our prepping methods. You know, the things that we do, some people don't do. Um, sometimes we get ideas from other people we incorporate in our preparedness so i want to encourage people not to be closed-minded and stuff because i learn a lot from other people you know this is kind of a lifestyle that we've had well, at least i've had most of my life we grew up in the mountains of north carolina we're used to ice storms and stuff it was just a thing to have food water and supplies on hand because when you got snowed in you're stuck there it's just the way we were raised but i started thinking about you know what we've done you know, over the course of a couple of years, putting food back, uh, everything from the charity work and stuff, we go out and try to do and help. You know, I encourage you guys, if you're in this position, you know, don't put yourself out, but if you're in the position to go help others, definitely do it. Okay. Get people prepared if you can. If you want to work with a mission or something like that to help people in need like that, definitely do it. I encourage you to. Um, when it comes to food and stuff, guys, you know, we try to show everything, the canned goods, uh, the long-term food storage, you know, the freeze-dried, uh, the dehydrated foods, things like that. You know, I try to put everything in one category. We disperse our stuff out, okay? We have canned goods, dry goods, dehydrated. We have powder mixes. We have long-term food storage. We don't just keep everything as one type of prep, but we also eat all these preps we don't just store them up and you know these are precious now we use this stuff i know there's a lot of people that don't want to use it i do encourage you rotational stock on food now i'm not just going to harp on food though i've started slowing down in my old age of 45 i know there's going to be well that's still young uh i worked as a welder iron worker most of my life mechanic i've done hard construction work all my life i never had no cushy job anywhere it's always been physical demanding bust your ass work and it's starting to catch up to me that's just all there is to it am i gonna quit working nah that's just not in me but <laughs> yeah i <laughs> busted up um i don't know when we'll be doing another outdoor survival video that's i love it it's my passion sitting there watching some of our footage earlier i think that was like two years ago on that one you know i i got to get back out to the woods that's my that's my happy place it always has been with my work schedule currently i never have two days off in a row uh so trying to do this i know we got some locals in my area you know panama city area bay county area down here in florida that have reached out want to do camping trip at least like a one-nighter and stuff I've actually got a lot of friends I got to do one nighters with too. We got to get that scheduled. I've got to get out to the woods. Um, hopefully by spring. I don't want to do it in summer. Summertime sucks down here in Florida. It's hot as hell. But I'm hoping to get something like that put together for you guys here in the near future. Uh, the only reason why I can't right now is my work schedule. So I'm working on it. If I can get two days lined up, we're going to make it happen. And once I get that fixed, We'll be able to make it happen. So I'm going to be down for a while, guys. If they have to do the surgery, um, looking at 8 to 12 weeks recovery time. Yeah, that's going to suck. If it's just physical therapy stuff I can do, okay, maybe a little bit quicker. I don't know yet. Still waiting on my MRI and stuff. Yeah, it takes a while sometimes. But I encourage you guys, you know. You don't have to go out there and beat bush all the time. I, I, I enjoy it. I love it as a prepper. I try to incorporate that as a preparedness skill, right? Learning bushcraft, survival skills. That way, if this stuff was to ever disappear, do you have a way, do you have the knowledge, the skill set to trap, to fish, to hunt? You can read a lot of stuff in books, but that's all it is, reading in books. Until you get your hands on it, it's another beast. The reason I say this is because I know for a fact that just sitting in the yard, woodland stuff with a knife and wood, and oh look, I made the perfect arrowhead, but you don't know how to make a bow or anything else because it's actually a lot of work, and it takes time to actually make a bow from scratch. 
but you write it in a book. Now when it comes down to it and you're exhausted, you've been hiking, you've been running, you've been trying to evade, whatever the case may be, climate, temperature, everything's just all out of whack. And now you gotta go do this stuff. It's a different story, okay? Now, I understand that not everybody is physically able to. I get that, all right? This is why we always push on this channel about having groups, people that you can lean on and they lean on you. You're a group, you're a unit, you watch each other's back. Something you should work on, all right? I don't have all the answers here because then I see the comments, well, I've been trying to get a group for five years, no one will talk to me. I want to, there should be a pop-up link to one of my shorts, uh, screaming about Nuburu and everything else. If you're going to people like that and wanting them to join your group and you're yelling about the Illuminati and stuff of that nature, I don't want to join your group either. So, you know, talk to people normally. When you get people confidence and stuff, you can actually go down the truth or path on stuff, the things that you have found. But theory and conspiracy is not always factual. Okay? Now, there is a lot of truth in some of this stuff, but without factual evidence, you're theorizing. Now, sure, things could look a certain way, but without facts, it doesn't make it facts. All right. Now, I'm not saying the Illuminati is not real. I'm not saying that Nuburu is not real. I'm not saying the Earth is not flat. Okay, I'm going to go and say it. The Earth is not flat. No, no. I got some flat earthers here. Uh, but anyway, guys, I want to encourage you to push yourself. Um, I'm going to take a couple of days off from YouTube, and I got, I got a big schedule at work I got to work on. And... When I come back, I got a lot more videos. I just want to talk about doing some more outdoor stuff. I might be able to do some things around the house because we do have sets of woods out here on back property. So we could probably do some type of mocked up stuff, but that's never been my thing. I've always been out in the bush when I'm doing stuff, put myself through it. So I don't really like trying to do a mocked up version of something. Anytime I've ever done that, I've always said, hey, I'm in the back 40s of the yard. Big, big difference there. Anyway, guys, I want to encourage you. Keep prepping. Keep pushing your bodies. And speak to you later.